Sea Green will be Scotland's largest offshore wind farm when built. And therefore I think it's a massive positive development for Scotland and for the offshore wind. For the UK, this is probably one of the largest projects that we've got ongoing at the moment. So basically we take receipts of the jackets and deliver them to the barges which take them to the field to be installed. We use the SPMTs to move the jacket structures from storage location to the quayside for loadout with the crane. The crane here is the PTC 210DS, which is currently lifting wind turbine jackets. Jacket weights are approximately 1,800 tonnes to 2,100 tonnes. Lifting operation, its speed of movement, its efficiency, I think it brings real value to the renewable energy sector and I can see it being used more and more times in the future. We can do any jacket at any time of the day and then within one hour we do a full loadout. The advantage of using this crane for this project is basically you don't have as much weather restrictions or tidal restrictions as the SPMTs do. And the PTC can, um, it can work around the clock and load out on any windows, uh, tidal windows. I think as installation vessels become uh, more scarce with the increasing demand for offshore wind projects, I think the PTC and ring cranes in general will be the most efficient way to minimise timescales. Renewable and offshore is all getting heavier, so that lends itself to um, more of Mammoth's equipment being utilised for the operations. It's the ideal piece of equipment for what we're doing here on site. It's really proven its value to the customer um, and the end client, making sure we can uh, improve their offshore construction uh, period and duration. The Sea Green project is the delivery of 2,200 tonne jacket structures. There's 114 to be loaded in and out of this facility. This is the marshalling yard for the job. Uh, so basically we take receipts of the jackets. The jackets arrive here on the HTV. We will offload um, several jackets around the PTC ready for the loadout operation. So you can, um, one after the next, load out jackets. And there we just hook on to the jacket first with the lifting tool and then uh, slew over the barge, put it down release the lifting tool and, and that's it, then uh, off she goes. From about 2019 all the way through to 2021, um, we were working through the engineering challenges and um, putting forward proposals. Initially we were looking at SPMT only uh, workload in and load out, but as the, the client's engineering and, and the scheduling became more firm, um, it was clear that a lifting operation was really required to keep up with the uh, intensive programme. For the UK, this is probably one of the largest projects that we've got ongoing at the moment. I've been with the company now for 14 years, so I've also had a little bit of experience with the PTC 35s. So to see the sort of generational steps to what they are now today, then uh, yeah, it's a, there's a real sense of pride. I like everything about this crane. It's big, it's strong, 
It does everything you want it to do and more. It's very difficult to explain the size of it to people. It's big. Massive. <laughs> it's the ideal piece of equipment for what we're doing here on site. You can't think in the sense that the crane is overwhelming because then you'll end up being scared of it. I think um, th this crane, as we've proven with the transfer time to, to move such large structures from the key sides onto barges, it's proven its value in the renewable energy sector with what it's capable of. It's, uh, it's safe um, lifting operation, it's speed of movement, it's efficiency. I think it brings real value to the renewable energy sector and I can see it being used more and more times in the future. This project is a very good development in uh, sustainable energy. I think going forward, this is great for the offshore wind industry. I think it, uh, it shows how we can uh, help working towards a greener future. 